Hi, this is Aaron at thinkaboutlabs.com and welcome back. Today we're going to work on picking up spells. We'll be using Adventure Creator's Hotspot to give us the ability to pick up spells. Before we get started on this, in the first video I did not import the Adventure Creator's demo folder. It is important that this is downloaded when you first begin as it gives you all the default menu options. And what I mean is if you go into the um, AC Game Editor and then go over into the menu, you have a lot of menus that are already predefined based on the Adventure Creators demo um, folder that is imported. Now you, this is not a necessity, you don't have to go back and re-import it, but it'll save yourself a lot of time, especially if you're just getting used to Adventure Creator and how to set up all these menus. So just keep that in mind, if you haven't downloaded it, go back and download the demo for Adventure Creator, and then you can have these menus set up. We'll be using the stock menus for our spell inventory, so it'll make it a little easier to follow along based on that demo. So for the menu, if we play our scene, in the bottom left hand corner we have the, this menu. And this comes up, it pauses the game for us. And then we also, if we come to the very top of the screen, we have this hover over bar. And this is going to be our inventory. Let's change this up a little bit and go ahead and get those removed. Let's go ahead and quit that and then let's go so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the in-game menu off so what we need to do is select the menu click the end game and then down here we're going to say start game locked off that way we basically just don't show it we can play it and show you okay now it's out of our way but if we hit escape we can still see uh, this menu pop up so that's still good next thing we need to do is we need to change the inventory so the inventory as it is right now, if we hit the tab key and then we hover over here, we open up the inventory. Now this isn't going to work out very good for us in our FPS um, shooting game. We want to bind a key button to it so it pops up a window for us. Um, that's going to be something that we're more used to. So let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go to the game editor and then the menu and then the inventory. And then we'll go down to change input. So we'll change the appear type. So select this and then on input key. And we're going to change this toggle key to toggle inventory. All right, so then let's go to our project input, edit, project input. And we need to create a new element, so 21. Let's go down to the bottom. And the new one is going to be toggle inventory. And our positive button is going to be tab. We'll just leave it at tab. That'll work. Let's play that and see how that looks. And hit tab. And the inventory pops up. Tab again. And we'll go back to our scene. Perfect. Let's go back to the game editor. Let's go down to the inventory. All right, so let's change the grid for our inventory. I'm just gonna make it a little box. So we're gonna go down to the size, make sure it's on manual. Let's change the width to say 60. And let's change the height. Let's say, this is just for the outline of the inventory. Let's change it to 60 as well. We'll make it a nice little square. Let's go down to the slot orientation and change this to a grid. Let's change the grid size. Seven looks good. All right, and just play with the grid a little bit to get it matched up. All right, and after you have the inventory box laid out how you want it, go to the shift left, which is a little button up here, and then let's move it down just a little bit. All right, and the last thing on the inventory is make sure you have pause game when enabled. This will pause um, the environment and the character um, when we have the inventory open. So let's play this and check it out. All right. So let's hit tab. Opens up the inventory. It's centered in the screen. We have our page buttons left and right. And everything is paused. Can't move the character, so great. So let's work on our first hotspot. Let's go to the asset store and see if they have any books. So let's go to our asset store. And then books. And let's check out these books. 
yeah, that'll work fine. So we'll have a book in the scene. Maybe it'll be spinning and have some sparklies around it and let us know that it's a pickup item. We'll pick this item up, we'll put it into our inventory, and then we can use it or consume it. And that will activate a different type of spell. So let's go ahead and import that. Okay, let's close this tab. And now we have the books folder. And let's go look at the prefabs. So we have a brown book, green book, kind of a yellow worn book, and a red book. Let's go with this book, it's kind of cool. So let's drag this out into our scene, somewhere in front of us. Bring it up a little bit. Okay, and um, let's make it a little bigger. Just so we can get a good eye on it. Let's change the name to um, Spell Firebook or Frost Frost Fire Spellbook. It's very long. Okay. And then select position over selected mesh. And let's go ahead and give it a name. We'll say the um, frost fire spell book hotspot. And click add new. Go ahead and select the hotspot and go to the inspector. So if we look at the book now, it has a um, yellow mesh um, covering it. This is just to let us know that it is a hot spot. So if we look in the inspector, it is tagged with a little yellow icon. If we go down to the hot spot, the hot spot script is automatically added and the label we need to change it says label if not already named. We don't want this to be that really long frost fire spell book. But let's go ahead and just change it to frost spell book. Okay. Next one is the object to highlight. Well, we want the book to highlight when we mouse over it. So go back to the book and then add component. And then there's a highlight script. Go ahead and select it. And we're going to leave everything default. You can go back and mess with it, but the auto brighten material works out pretty well. Let's go back to the hotspot and let's drag the spell book onto the object to highlight. So let's add a new interaction to this hotspot. Click the plus sign. And the cursor we're going to use is the use. We have three cursors to select from by default. Those are the ones that come with the Venture Creator cursor. So you see we have the use, talk to, and look at. We'll, we'll change those later, uh, but for right now, let's just use the defaults. So the cursor is use, and then it is going to be enabled. The interaction, let's create an interaction. So this create, creates us a new game object called Frost Spellbook Use. And it gives us this little icon right beside it. Go ahead and select that icon. And this is going to give us an action list editor window. Grab it and drag it up to the top of the screen. That way we have a lot of real estate to work on this action list. The action list editor is a visual scripting interface where we can define what happens when we click on it. The actions that we're going to set up are disable the hotspot, hide the item, and then add it to our inventory. So the first action is going to be action type is hotspot. And then we're going to enable or disable. And the hotspot to effect is our frost fire spellbook hotspot. Change to make is going to be disable. Now there's a little circle right below it. Go ahead and click it and this will give us another action. And our second action is going to be of type object and we're going to change its visibility and that object is going to be our frost fire spell book and the visibility is going to be invisible because after we select it and put it in our inventory we don't want it to show anymore and the last item is going to be actually adding it to our inventory but let's go ahead and test this so here's our spell book and we hover over it we see the frost fire spell book this is the label that we filled out. You can see that it does 
highlight, that's the script we added to it, and when we click on it, we have a little icon, and then it disappears. Great. So let's go ahead and stop that. Now let's add a place to add this book to our inventory. So back in the Adventure Creator Game Editor, select the Inventory tab. And so we need to create a new item. So let's create a new item. New item is going to be called our Frost Fire Spellbook. And the label is going to be the same as what we have in our hotspot. So it's the Frostfire Spellbook. So we need some 2D textures for our inventory icons. I found, let me see, I found these on Open Game Art, and I thought they would work pretty good. I'll put a link to these uh, icons below in the discussion. So let's just go ahead and grab these and import those. Let's create a new folder under the Magician and we'll call this art and then spells okay let's go back to that folder select everything and then we're just going to drag this in here and so for our frost fire let's use the enchanted blue one for our main graphic and the active graphic which means that we have it selected we'll use the bright blue one so enchanted blue one for our main graphic and the enchanted blue three for our active graphic now that we have an inventory item to match our frostfire spellbook game object let's go back to the action list editor and add a new item or a new action and that new action is going to be action type of inventory we're going to add or remove the method is going to be add and the item we're going to add is the frostfire spellbook this is automatically selecting for us because it is the only item in our inventory right now so that's good let's go ahead and uh, play that and see how it looks alright so let's go over to our book it highlights select it and let's look in our inventory and we have a new item in here and if we select it we can see that the icon does change alright so go ahead and play with that get some hotspots created for your spells they don't necessarily have to be those books but um, I thought they'd work out pretty good alright great we have our first spell inventory item so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up here in the next video I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to consume that spell book item that we picked up and put in our inventory and then change the character's spell that he's currently using. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and we'll see you in the next one. Till then.